Welcome to the shop. Today I've got uh, quite a few knife sheaths that we have to kick out, so I thought it would be a good time to, you know, film the use of this vertical press. A vertical press is really, really handy. It's going to give you the best, uh, at, you know, the best uh, bending and characteristics for a taco sheath. So whether that's for a pistol or that's for a knife, anything that you're going to wrap that on, that kydex on, this is the way to form it. Now they make a bunch of, well not a bunch, but they make uh, these also in wood. You can see them on knife kits for sale. You can look them up on the uh, web, see how to make them. I'm not trying to explain how to make them. I'm trying to show you some options that you can use for this, this press show you what it actually does. So here's ideas. Now you really need to have when you're pressing like a pistol in auto, you need to have an inch foam on one side, you need to have an inch foam on the other side and that will give you a 90-90 press. 90% profile outside, 90% on the inside. Now though if you decide you want to have a 10% on the inside and a 90 on the outside, we'll call that a 90-10 press. Okay, well, how do we do that? You're going to start off, you know, you would do a, an inch foam on each side and do it. Well, if that uh, uh, was, then you want to take and do a 90-10 uh, press, you only put a half inch foam over here, and you put an inch and a half of foam over here. Okay, that's, you know, that's what it goes. It's pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. Now, so there's, you, you know, you don't have to always press a 50-50 press. You could, you could even do to where you put maybe a board in here, a half inch board in here, and some foam over here. I've never done this, but it will work. And then you can put your item on there and press it over. If it was a flat knife without any handles or something on it, that would work. However, to do that type of press, it's really desirable to use a vertical press, not a, I mean, well, there's two kinds of vertical presses, actually. This is a vertical press clamshell type. Okay, then you have a vertical press that's straight down. Yeah, I gotta remember, remember that. Now, however you think, the way I like to use this, now, many people, you will see it advertised as using inch and a half foam. This is how you would buy it if you needed to have enough foam to get in there. And they would put that in there and push it down and then they would cut this off and they would have so you have an inch over here you have an inch over here and away you go and that works you're always going to be bending here and the same in the center uh i just as soon you know i pr i prefer to use the the half inch pieces built up and this is why if i put my half inch pieces in here I can get more life out of my phone because when you start pressing, they're going to start leaving artifacts in the phone, little places where it's been. Now this is the best phone you can get. This is called Extreme. It's made by Boltran. You can pick it up from your suppliers, like uh, holster builder or knife kits. You can get them from there. <clears throat> and so what I do is I'll put it in like this. Now I have an inch and an inch on both sides, same as using the other foam. Now, but this gives me more options. So now I'll press away with this. And every time I press, I rotate my foam. Then I can get and do it. Then I press, then I rotate my foam. And this keeps from building creases and helps to, if there are artifacts that are starting to develop, it keeps them moved, moved about. Now, if you can look in here and if, see this, it's not likely, but you'll see some little wrinkles right in here. Well, if you don't keep rotating your phone, that's gonna occur. So if I take and I rotate it this way, See now my other presses, it's going to start doing that, so I move it around. The bottom foam gets rotated to top foam. Top foam rotates each time you press, and your foam lasts a lot longer. 
Like I said, you can buy, when you buy your foam, if you buy it in full sheets, if you bought enough to go down here and to come up here, you would have to buy two feet of it. You put it in here, say you cut it off, but let me tell you, this is a very valuable piece of scrap. You will use that a lot. So, don't worry about the scrap. You want to cut corners a little bit, maybe you've gone and you've made one of these out of wood. I'm a steel fabricator, I have a steel fabrication shop that I work in, and uh, that I own. And uh, so I made this out of scrap, uh, off of, uh, just from under, you know, what I had laying around. I'm going to do some uh, uh, courses on how to build these exactly measurements, cut sheets, everything, whether it's wood or steel. Uh, so you can look forward to that in the future. Now, another part of film that you can use, another type, you want to save some money? Hey, how about Walmart? Let's go down to Walmart, get yourself a couple in the camping spot, get yourself a couple butt pads. Okay, a couple butt pads here. There's, there's the deal right there. This is from Walmart. They're one inch thick. They'll go right in there, work slick. Guess what? They'll even lay in there like that. This is enough here to even do a pistol. So, always make sure you're clear with your pistols. You know, I'm empty. I'm, I'm empty. And uh, we can lay that right in there. And if you look, here on the side, here on the side from the trigger guard, right up here is about how far my Ted, my, my, my Kydex would be. So I'm easily underneath this where this handle is right here. Yeah, that's a little trick. You go, this foam is not like the other foam, okay? But this will press really good, but it will not live for a long time. But you will get a number of presses out of this foam and you'll be surprised. Cheap way to go, okay? So, But what I'm going to do is put all these goodies away and I'm going to get a set up here to make a press. And then I will also explain using these clamps. Actually, I might mention a little bit of that right now, just maybe for a minute. These are a blessing for doing this type of work. You can get them at Home Depot. This came from Lowe's. But they have like a 600 pound clamping strength. That's important because if you've got some of these old styles laying around, you can't close this with this. It just doesn't work. I mean, it's just too hard. I mean, well, if you're stronger than me, maybe. Okay, I'll show you how those work when we get set up on the press and uh, explain that issue. So stay tuned. We'll be right back with some hot Kydex. Thanks.